Okay, brush yourself. <laughs> hey, first things first. I'm the real. I'm just gonna moisturize my face um, using the Mac Strobe Cream. I've had this for a long time, though. I'm just kind of waiting for it to run out. And then I'm gonna take the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm again. Had this for a while, waiting for it to run out. So I'm just taking the Urban Decay um, All Nighter Foundation. This is in shade 0 0.5, and I'm just gonna. I watched this on someone else's video. I can't tell you her name, but um, well, I can't. I, I can tell you her name. I just don't know it. Um, I'm just gonna put it on in sections so that it blends out easier. I'm just gonna take a little bit over my lids as well. I still will have to put an eyeshadow primer on, but it'll just sort of cancel out how red my eyes are. Um, I'm just gonna take my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is in the shade Fair Neutral, um, which I think is the palest shade. Um, I am just gonna do the usual thing that everyone does. Make myself look like kind of a warrior. You know the deal. And then again, I'm just going to blend that out with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender sponge thing. And I know this probably sounds really weird, but even though I put my, like, put it underneath my eyes first, I do like to blend that out last, because I don't know, like, I feel like it sticks to my eyes more. That probably makes, makes like, no sense, but to me, it's perfect. Okay. So I just need to like set mainly my under eyes and the slightest bit over the foundation obviously because it's a matte finish and I have more sort of dry skin I don't really like to put that much over it um, but obviously just to make sure that my under eyes stay in place. So the next thing I'm going to do is take the Urban Decay um, Naked Flushed Palette in Native. I feel like I'm literally just using everything by Urban Decay but... I, I like them. Um, I'm just going to take the bronzer contour -y shade and at first I'm literally just going to put like a straight line and then I'm just going to start blending that upwards. I feel like that NYX powder makes everything look orange. Yeah, I'm like really not happy with how my under eyes look. So I'm going to take a face wipe and wipe that away that looks crazy as shit I'm basically, I'm basically just gonna take that concealer again I don't know if you can see that but like here is gonna is like starting to go patchy where there's like the foundation and the powder so I'm just gonna use the uh, blush and the highlight from this same palette and pray to god that I look okay So I'm just going to take the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Primer um, just to go over my lids. And then I'm just going to set that with Walk of Shame out of the Naked Basics palette. So I'm first going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Flawless Matte palette. I'm basically just going to be working with the... They're all matte like, but with the lighter tones first, getting a bit darker. You know the drill. I feel like for anyone with hooded eyes, like it's really hard trying to make your eye look look <laughs> any good. Like I feel like no matter what I do, it's just it's never gonna compare to anyone else's. It's a hard life. So it's like I'm trying to do more things and be different and stuff like that, but I feel like every look I do just looks the same. It's very frustrating and I don't like it. I'm just gonna take a clean brush with that lighter color. Well, I say clean, <laughs> clean enough. Um, with that lighter color again, just to blend out the darker color, and then take the excess underneath. All right, so I've just done the same on the other eye. 
um, and I'm just going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Flawless Palette using this colour next to the one that looks like a really nice copper colour. The payoff is shit, but this one is so much nicer, so I'm going to go in with that with a wet brush. And then I'm just going to use the other side of this same brush just to make sure the edges aren't so harsh. So I've just cleaned this brush on a little, the face wipe I used before, because I'm dirty. Um, and I'm just going to take another shimmery colour. I'm going to take this pink one here <laughs> and I'm going to use this on my inner corner just to wake me up a bit. And then I'm just going to take this little precise brush um, just to go back underneath my eyes again with just a matte dark brown. I'm also just going to use my finger with that um, uh, colour I used in my inner corner to highlight and gently place that on my brow bone because I don't want anything like too in your face. But I still want a little bit of something something. So now I'm just going to curl my lashes and add some mascara. And um, this is just, why am I so pale? Well, like even more pale. There we go, that's better. And this is just the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Um, again, just waiting for it to run out. <laughs> I think I'm going to, well, I was going to go with the, um, Too Faced Better Than Sex, but Too Faced has been bought by Estee Lauder now. So no one's really certain if the products are being tested on animals. Um, but I have heard a lot of things about Tarte's mascara as well, so I think I might try that one out. If you could live in a world where you don't have to test on animals, you don't have to eat them, you don't have to kill anything, like there's, there's just no point in doing it, in my opinion. There's so many other options. I think I will have to put another coat of this on once I've done my brows, if I'm honest. I'm first just going to take a little spoolie just to brush through them, make sure there's no like foundation on them and all that type of stuff. Because if you look at that, like, you know. <laughs> and then as per usual, I'm going to take my Anastasia Dip Brow in Dark Brown. Alright, I feel a little bit better now that I'm zoomed out. I just did this eyebrow and put a little bit more mascara around, like, that's it. I'm just gonna go in with the NYX Liquid Suede in Vintage. And yes, I did take the foundation off my lips. They're just very pale. I feel like this is very winter. Like, very fall inspired. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with my hair. <sighs> yeah, this is the finished makeup look. Just zoom you in here. Um, I am thinking of... I should probably put my glasses on. Um, yeah, I am thinking of doing like a like minimalism type of thing and doing like a massive clear out, so stay tuned for when I have the balls to do that. Um, anyway, I do and hope you... I do and hope... I do hope you enjoyed this video and I shall see you soon. Goodbye!